Hey everyone, I'm Shayna from The Nutrition Spot. Today's video is all about how and why to get rid of worry eating any food at all. Be sure to subscribe down below so that you catch all of our upcoming videos and give us a thumbs up if you like it so that YouTube shows it to more people. First, let's look at why we worry about eating any food in the first place. When we understand that, it's gonna be a lot easier to stop worrying. Let's think about the foods that we do worry about when we go to eat them. Generally, it's different for everyone. We do have some that are pretty common. A lot of times they're foods that are higher in calories because we think that those foods are going to make us overeat, potentially affect our weight, or even give us a negative health outcome. What if I said it's actually not the food and it's not you, it's the how that we really need to focus on? That's a confusing concept, so let's use a story to demonstrate what I mean. We had a client come to us who was really worried about eating foods higher in carbohydrates, and she also had a history of using fasting to control her intake. When she worked with us and learned her intuitive eating skills, which means really learns to listen to her body, she realized that it wasn't food at all, it was more in her how, how she was approaching food. Now, let's look at some common types of eating that are often associated with those foods that we're worried about eating. So, I wrote them down on a piece of paper. We've got overeating, i.e. missing our fullness cues quite often. Um, constant cravings, so those relentless cravings that we just wish are, were not there. There's also emotional eating. That can be a really big one for a lot of people. And then binge type eating. That's when we feel like we've lost control and we end up eating more than we feel comfortable with. Oftentimes, would you agree that the foods that we're worried about eating are also associated with that type of eating? So we're trying to avoid that type of eating. We're also associating that it's the food that's causing, potentially causing that type of eating. Now here's what I mean, it's more about the how. Number one, did you know that guilt and worry in itself can actually artificially inflate our desire for a food? Meaning, if we're eating something that we deem is unhealthy or we're worried about eating, then if we have these thoughts of like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't be eating this, this is so bad for me, I should only have two, all of those types of thoughts while we're eating something that can like trigger a switch in the brain to be like oh my gosh there's not a lot of this available I shouldn't or I may not ever get it again so I better eat more now while I can why because we know that we actually really enjoy that food and so why would we ever want to let it go so it's kind of like this this tug of war that never seems to end this cycle Number two is all of those forms of eating are actually a sign or a symptom that something is wrong underneath. Something, there's a root cause to those types of eating. It's not the food. So if we are actually out of touch with listening to our body and getting to know what it actually needs, catching those kinds of signs and symptoms, then that mind-body connection goes unnoticed and we automatically think that it's the food that's causing that outcome, that sign or symptom. So what's happening is, is where our eating's potentially driven by false desire, we are missing the mark on what our body's actually asking for, and we have a disconnect between our mind and body, and so we are overeating thinking that it's us that needs more willpower and motivation and that that food is bad because it's causing us to eat like that. But that's actually not the truth, it is more of the how. So going back to our example, with the client that we worked with and helped her to relearn her body, catch those signals, really get to know her hunger and fullness cues, really relearn her body, she realized that eating any food, let's say pizza, can go from experience where we feel out of control, that we are always overeat it, to, in her case, 
One that's actually super enjoyable, one where she feels very in charge and felt very content having one slice of pizza and craved a side salad to go with it. So that's what happens when we realize that we're not to blame. It's not the food driving it. It's just more relearning how to get rid of those false desires and how to get in touch with our body so we're catching what it needs. So this video is all about the steps to get rid of that worry while eating any food. So the first step would be remind yourself. The second step is giving yourself 100% permission. And the third step is listening to your cues. So what does that mean? Number one, it's really important to remind yourself that guilt and worry never served you. It always potentially made you falsely hungry or drove you to eat more. So just reminding yourself that you don't want that outcome. And so catch that guilt and that worry so that it doesn't have that effect. The other important part is if we are being worried and feeling guilty while we're eating our favorite food, it can really skew with our satiety. It can be really hard to enjoy a food if we're constantly thinking, oh my gosh, I'm only gonna eat a little bit more. Oh my gosh, how much calories are in this? Oh my gosh, it goes on and on and on, right? So the more we start to notice those thoughts, try to neutralize them, then they have a less effect on our eating, we won't have false desire, and we'll be able to enjoy the food and feel our satiety much easier. Number two, really important, giving ourselves 100% permission to eat the food because otherwise we're still gonna be, dri be driven by, oh my gosh, I should only eat a small quantity. And so there goes that false desire again. So 100% permission, but doing it mindfully, right? So it's really important to sit down and enjoy our food and pay attention. And that's when we can start hearing our body signals. And that gives me number three, which is listen to your body cues. If you notice while you're eating this food, you're really enjoying it, but you're also getting to a point where you're like feeling satisfied and full, that's when it's a good time to check in and say, hey, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling full. I know that I can eat more of this anytime at a later date when I feel hungry for it again. And so that's a 100% permission that keeps this beautiful cycle going so that we're eating based on our hunger and fullness and not being driven by the guilt and the worry. If you're someone like our client who feels like pizza, for example, is something that you really need to strictly portion control, otherwise you're gonna have food, like weight worries or any other kind of guilt, and you would like to become somebody that can just really eat without willpower and have full enjoyment and not have any weight worries, then message us either on Instagram, Facebook, here, our email, well, all the links are down below and we can set you up with a registration link for our course called Total Transformation, where we give you the focus steps and the support to get you to that point efficiently. As we know, diets are part of the problem that are causing this false desire and also can negatively impact our metabolism. So the really double duty counteracts what we're trying to accomplish in the first place. With our method, we help your metabolism recover, and then we also teach you the skills of intuitive eating so you can hear what your body is asking for and really get down to those root causes so that you don't feel like you need to restrict any food and you have no more worries eating any food. Total Transformation is the step-by-step -step guide with our support to help you get to that point where you're eating with no more worries and you have complete confidence in your body. Remember to subscribe so you catch our next videos. Maybe give us a comment so that we know what to put in our future videos. Give us a thumbs up so that YouTube will show it to more ladies and share it with a friend that you feel could really benefit from knowing that they're not to blame and food's not to blame either. I'll catch you guys next time.